Adopting a retired canine came with its own set of perks, especially for Lily, a woman navigating the gritty streets of Memphis. However, her expectations shattered like glass when she found herself face to face with a menacing figure blocking her path at a convenience store. What her new faithful companion did in response was not just confusing, but also shocking. Welcome to Wonderbot Animals. In the alleys of Memphis, danger lurked around every shadowy corner, and Lily had endured her fair share of unsettling encounters. As a young single woman, she often found herself targeted by people with malicious intentions prowling the streets. To make matters worse, her relationship had crumbled, leaving her not only heartbroken, but also without a roof over her head. Struggling financially, she reluctantly relocated to one of the city's most dangerous neighborhoods because she couldn't afford anything else. It was a harsh reality she couldn't immediately change, compelling her to steel herself against life's challenges. Navigating the challenges of her new neighborhood proved to be a daunting task for Lily. Since her arrival, she had fallen victim to robbery not once, but twice, and found herself the target of persistent harassment and stalking. A brush with abduction had left her shaken, saved only by the defense of pepper spray she carried. Lily existed in a constant state of unease, and she felt a bit trapped. Yet, amidst the bleakness, a glimmer of hope emerged unexpectedly. A visit to the local animal shelter, which was initially intended to alleviate her loneliness with the company of a cat, took an unforeseen turn. As she wandered the shelter's corridors, her eyes were drawn not by a cat, but by the presence of a weathered German shepherd escorted in by a police officer. Learning that the canine was a retired police dog in need of a new home due to neglect at the station, Lily's mind raced with possibilities. A solution to her problems had just fallen into her lap. Interrupting the officer as he talked to the shelter staff, Lily seized the opportunity, pouring out her story and pleading to adopt the dog. The officer, seemingly indifferent to the details, readily agreed more interested in disposing of the animal than in understanding Lily's motives. Though shocked by the officer's lack of curiosity, Lily was happy that she was able to adopt the dog. Luna, the dog who had swiftly become Lily's new companion, wielded an undeniable influence from the moment they stepped out together. As they walked the streets, the usual unwanted attention and calls from men ceased, replaced by respectful nods and quick apologies when interruptions occurred. With Luna at her side, Lily felt that she was enveloped by a sense of invincibility and security, which she was lacking in her new neighborhood. The tides were turning in her favor at last. When they got home, Lily eagerly introduced Luna to her new surroundings, only to find the dog's response was not as enthusiastic as she expected. Luna's demeanor made the dog look restless. She held her tail low and inspected every nook and cranny of her new home. It seemed to Lily that the habits of being a police dog die hard. When night fell, Luna became a bit more restless and she wandered around the house all night. In the morning, Lily found the dog sprawled out on the couch, sleeping comfortably and peacefully. Once again, Lily thought that Luna was used to her schedule as a police dog, so she understood that the habit may take a while to change. Determined to establish a new routine so Luna could provide her with company during the day, Lily decided to hold off on going out that day until Luna was awake. That afternoon, when Luna finally woke up, the sun was already coming down and Lily was apprehensive about going out. However, she needed to go to the nearby convenience store, which made her nervous. Before we find out why, Give this video a like to help it reach 5K and subscribe to the channel. That was one of the places where she had been robbed before and she knew that many other people got robbed there as well. It was very easy for the criminals because there were no cameras around and the police had done nothing about all the reports that had been made about the issue. There was no other convenience store in the area though, so Lily and everyone else in the neighborhood didn't have much of a choice but to keep using it. When she and Luna approached the convenience store, there was no one standing in line, just a couple of people around, but Lily felt safe with Luna by her side. 
and the dog was on high alert as they approached the convenience store, so no one got close to them. As she walked away from the convenience store, Lily felt eyes on her and saw that Luna kept looking back. It was clear someone was following them, but Lily kept walking. She felt safe with Luna there, but she hurried back home. When she was approaching her house, two men with hoods over their heads walked toward her and they didn't look friendly at all. Lily froze and drew Luna close to her. At first, the dog didn't do anything, but as the men got closer, Luna began to growl and bare her teeth at them. The men quickly crossed the street and walked away. Lily was very relieved and when they got home, she gave Luna extra treats. For the next few nights at Lily's home, Luna's behavior was basically the same. She was very active at night and whenever she heard police sirens around, it felt like she was waiting to be picked up. One night, she needed to go to the convenience store again, so she brought Luna with her. When they got there, two people were lurking outside the convenience store, so Lily decided to take a short walk around the block and see if they moved along. When she returned, the convenience store was empty except for a man standing a few feet away from it with his hood over his head. Lily hesitated, but finally decided to go anyway. As she approached the convenience store, Luna was unsure at first. She was on alert and seemed very interested in the man, sniffing intensely in his direction. After she finished her shopping, Lily stepped out of the store, and when she did, the man with the hoodie began to approach. Lily's heart began to pound in her chest, but Luna wasn't doing anything. She didn't want to move, and Lily didn't want to leave her behind. She tried calling Luna's name, and that got the dog's attention. Then, Luna started growling at the man, who was behaving very strangely. If he wanted to rob her, he wasn't doing a very good job. Eventually, Lily had enough and gave Luna's leash a very hard tug. Luna finally realized she wanted to leave and obeyed but the strange man came running in Lily's direction. He was very fast and Lily screamed in shock. She tried to run away, but the man blocked her way. She held her purse and Luna's leash tightly, hoping Luna would come to her senses and do something to scare the man away. Lily knew she had to get out of there quickly. She didn't want to find out what that man was up to. She turned away, but the man quickly rushed to face her again. Whenever she moved, he moved to block her path and he even got closer to her. Lily stepped back and when she saw that the man stayed put, she figured it was a good chance to run. She was about to do that when Luna moved forward to approach the man. Lily pulled the leash tight, but that only made things worse. Luna started whining and pulling to get closer to the man. Luna pulled so hard that the leash flew out of Lily's hand and she screamed. She didn't want her dog to hurt the man, only scare him enough for them to go back home. What was Luna doing? But instead of attacking the man, the dog did something really shocking. She ran up to the man and jumped into his arms. The man was laughing and caught Luna with ease. Luna started licking the man's face and his sweatshirt fell down, revealing a very ordinary old man. The man finally spoke and he explained that he was a former police officer and Luna was his partner. Apparently, the man had seen Luna and Lily around and recognized the dog. He didn't mean to scare Lily. He just wanted to say hello to Luna. They got to chatting a bit and Lily decided to schedule a meetup every other week with the man so he could spend time with Luna. Isn't that kind? Let us know what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget to like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel for more. Until next time.